Hey, welcome back to Be Plays. Here we are playing Final Fantasy IV. We're in the lunar subterrane. Subterranean. Sub. Subterrain. It always sounds like a French word to me. Um, terrain. Which actually, it is uh, French. Uh, well, it's Latin by way of French into English. None of that matters. Let's go to the moon. I don't know why I said let's go to the moon because we're on the moon, but uh, I think this is the room where we start running into behemoths. Artemis Arrow! Ooh, Silver Dragon. Who was not terrible. What? Hey! Dude! Easy peasy. Triple squeezy. Um, what do we got here? So we've got two... This would be it, wouldn't it? Wait, tell me what level this is. It's not gonna tell me. This is four, which means that, would that be five? Would it be a waste of a siren to, let's just try it. Cause I didn't see a picture, okay. Um, items. Use. Siren. Let's see what we got here. No, that ain't it. Okay. It's not the room I was looking for. But technically, this would be... Five, right? Because we went down unless... Mm, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Maybe we'll just go to the next, uh, keep going down to the next thing and kind of see what what happens. Um, okay, not worried about that. That is not the correct room. What about Giant Warrior? The Giant Warriors have returned, ow. That's what they're called. Remember last episode when I couldn't remember what it was called half a second after seeing what it was called. <laughs> uh, Kringus. Man, that flamethrower is doing less and less damage. I'm leveling up. I'm getting stronger armor. Feels good. Yeah, just taking, taking less and less damage. Nice. A little bump. That prey move though I realize is getting less and less effective as we go because it's basically, it does about the same amount of healing every time. Um, and it doesn't appear to scale. Huh. It doesn't appear to scale with um, levels. White Fang, what is that? I don't know what a white fang is. Is it an item? It is an item. A dragon fang that deals ice damage. Oh, Cooliulio. Dino Zombie! Well, Excalibur should be particularly effective. <laughs> yeah! Man, I love it when I know this game. <laughs> yeah! That was fun. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, I think Gold Dragon is gonna be tough. Ooh, you know what I need to do is... Cause why not? Ah, rats. Let's see what that does. 
Nice! Nice! Yo! Everybody is having, having wonderful monsters! Behemoth! Let's just get Bahamut out here. Yo! It's not... Oh, man. Edge is just still such a squishy boy. This should take care of him, though. Because I that was a massive hit from the from Tori's jump. Interesting. Not as effective as I would have liked. Kura is not really that effective anymore. Um, not for everybody. Not for an all skate. There we go. Stardust Rod, yo! Well, who wants to use the Stardust Rod? Well, it's not for my girl, that's for sure. Huh. Huh. Wait, then what's the purpose? Casts Comet when used in battle. But she can't hold it. I don't love that. Oh well. B5... Ah, so we're looking for B5F. I cannot get over there. Huh. Ariman. Well, didn't mean to do that, but it seemed to have worked out. No, don't doom him. How dare you? I wonder if I can... As soon as my way out of a doom. Nope. That is unfortunate. And I guess we'll see how many turns it's going to take to wipe this guy out. That timer certainly does not go fast. But he is a beefy boy. There we go. Okay, I don't think we need to be too concerned about that as long as there's only one. Monsters! Ooh, multiple Dagrons. Ha-ha! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it missed most of them. And this is gonna probably not be effective against the red dragon. Let's be honest. Oh, it wasn't as effective, but it certainly was effective as effective goes. That was nice. Man, let's go, let's go. All right. This crew is an absolute wrecking ball. Okay. Let's go in this room. Dino Zombie. Come on, let's just get to Excalibur, please. Because that's the one that really really does it, because Escal Escalibur is especially effective against the undead. Love to see it. Protect ring. Nice. This feels like the room. I did not... Not that one. Um, let's take a chance. 
I don't want to check because. Nope. Um, I absolutely do not want to fight a guy called Lil Murderer. That is not at all what this game is about. And I'm not okay with it. What is happening here? This is the weirdest bad guy. What just happened? What on earth just happened? Okay, let's go here then. Oh, I don't wanna do that. I wanna do normal attacks. It is interesting, Dino Zombie looks like he has fire properties, but I don't think he does because he's a zombie and zombies are weak to fire and also Gina Christina's whip does extra damage. So... Wait, where do I, where do I go? Let's go down here? What's down here? yabba da yabba da yabba da yabba. Okay. Monsters! Behemoth! Um. Bahamut wasn't that great against him. Okay. Yeah, these are these are guys you just gotta a trip. There's real no magic bullet for these guys. And even Excalibur only does so much. But jump seems to be pretty effective. Is Tsunami any better than Mega Flare? Let's find out. It is not. Um, so might as well just do Mega Flare if I'm going to do anything. Um, what, how much does her black magic cost? Flare is not as good as Mega Flare. <laughs> Mega Flare. But Mega Flare costs 10 more. So. Rah! And also, we get this baller animation every time. So, I don't know why you wouldn't. Still the strongest attack I can do against them so far. Man. Crystal Mail. Okay, so that's there. And this will take me. Why? More monsters. Ooh, double red Dagron. Don't worry, Leviathan is on the way. Ouch! What the deuce? Okay, there we go. Is it gonna be good? Please? Please? It was okay. It wasn't as good as Mega Flare, though, which is a bit of a bummer. Um... I'll probably do it again. Um, oh, maybe not. I actually won't. I'll just do normal times. Zaba, 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 za. Oh, man. He didn't jump and he paid for it by getting crunched in the face. Goodbye. Cool. We are the masters of the Lunar Subterranean Dungeon. 60,000 crystal gloves. Okay. 
it's hard to remember like who gets to wear what nonsense so i just go through and just optimal everybody maybe this is i'm just wait Okay, I'm gonna go through this. I'm I'm going to um, just look for a picture of what it looks like. Um, no, not that. Ten thousand weak. Um, lunar sub terrain pink princess room. Where is it? Flan Princess Room is Room P. Oh, good. I know exactly what which one that is. And it is not any of the ones that I've been to. White Robe! Put it... Oh. Interesting. What? Wait, really? Wow, the White Robe is not as good. Magic defense up. But overall, that is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Squeeby dee dee. Blue dagger. Let's actually just attack this guy like normal times. Because I think we can handle him with, with just one. Shouldn't be too bad. That ice storm, though. Everybody else, immune. Maybe not immune. I don't know if they're immune, but a mist. I think immune would mean they would take zero damage. I'm really glad I took that time to work on leveling up, because that is making this so much more pleasant and, dare I say, fun. Monsters! Dino zombie, dino, dino zombie. Yeah, this will be easy because of Excalibur. Bye. Yeah, dude. They should not have put you guys here to guard this chest. Um, because you get bizzle bopped by team power boys and girls. Crystal Helm. All right. Hey, I should heal actually. Z the Z the Z. Okay, this is the Flan Princess room. But Lil Murderer is back. <laughs> we got ambushed by Lil Murderer, guys. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> I mean, is there something we can steal from him? Detected by the enemy. Okay. I mean, it kind of... kind of makes me... Is he ever gonna do anything? It kind of makes me think he has something, right? Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. And then I'm gonna punch him. There's a character named, or an enemy named Lil Murderer. Okay. Well, he's about to get Lil Murdered. What is the purpose of this guy? <laughs> oh, man. He's gone. He's gone. Goodbye. Does he have a drop, maybe? No? Weird. Got another red fang. Okay, time to make it happen. Where are my sirens? Flan princess. Prin I said it again. What on earth? What is happening right now? B 
This is the weirdest. This is so weird. This is so unbelievably weird. What is going on? I, guys, I just don't really know what to say. Like, they, they rage you. What? <laughs> now it's a different version of the song. What is happening? <laughs> Holy cow! They give you $270,000! That... That was kind of fun. Not gonna lie, um, okay. <laughs> so basically they pay for like 10 ethers. So there's no big duchy to me just doing this. Oh my goodness. That was weird and pretty fun actually. Um, well, here we go again. We gotta do this until we get a pink tail. <laughs> Jump, attack, pray, Bahamut. Well, she's not gonna pray anymore. Attack, okay. And then I can just hit turbo on that. This is so weird, man. This is really weird. <laughs> oh, boy. Holy cow. You, you really outdone yourselves this time, guys. Was this in the original game? I have no idea. I've never done this before. Oh. It's fun. Video games are fun, y'all. So, um, I, I decided that my strategy here is gonna be... Um, wait, does the music go down if they get... If they go down in hit points? Like, if they're almost dead, the music gets lower? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do this for uh, the rest of the episode. And then if I don't get it, I'm just going to grind for the pink tail on my own. Um, and not put that all on camera. Because it, it will take a while. Um, but, uh, man, I can't say that I'm not having a fun little time. Let's dance! Yep, there it goes. <laughs> oh, man. It will get old eventually. It hasn't gotten old yet. Um, this is fun. Man, video games are fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> And even, it's still not, like, it's it's not a cakewalk. Like, these these enemies are, like, kind of dangerous. They punch pretty hard, and there's five of them. So, you know, you can't take them for granted. Oh, my goodness. That's a good sign. Goodbye. 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 Excellent. Oh, I got a dry ether and an elixir, though. That's a killer drop. Love that. Love to see it. Love to see it. Oh. 
Oh. Well, we're just hanging out. We're just being good, good friends. I'm gonna do the Joker dance. Is that how he dances? I've never seen that movie. Um, I hear it's interesting. Um, in like a good, overall good way, but I, I watched the first like 30 or 40 minutes of it and I just like, I don't know, it gave me just this real uncomfortable feeling of like, I didn't want to watch a movie about what could go wrong when society treats vulnerable people badly and they use the angst and the anger from that to become bad people themselves. I didn't, I didn't want to watch that. Um, yo, another elixir? I'm gonna be prepared. Um, and and I think it's a complicated story, right? And and I think that the story of the Joker, as I understand it, is the story of like, villains are created by conditions, almost always, right? There's, there's so few villains that are even remotely realistic that are... Uh, this is one of my problems with Thanos. He's created by these conditions. Um, but what causes him to sort of take the outcome that he does, like, I'm going to destroy half of everything in the universe, in the movies is already there as a part of his identity and personality before the bad thing happens to him. So it kind of like just makes him into this like evil super villain who just doesn't listen to any reason at all. Um, and not as a result of, right. It was, it was, you know, our planet starved was the inciting action but it it didn't make him who he was he was already massive and powerful and like um you know sort of obsessed with with uh power and um having people follow him and right and that's why i think ultimately he isn't that good of a villain even though there's no way to say infinity war and ed game are like bad stories um there are parts of the stories that i think really are troubling um i think um they just i've talked about this before and movies with mikey mikey newman did a whole video on it but like the idea of painting thanos as sympathetic because he has this like great work to complete even though it's a great work of total depravity and um abuse right is like in in mikey's words legitimately revolting right to just be like oh he loves gamora that's why he's doing this no no he doesn't like let's not get it twisted um he does not love gamora he has control over gamora and he experiences it as love because he thinks that to love is to have power over and like if there were um like a meaningful critique of that i think that the movie would be better but there isn't right oh man another dry ether that rules um but the movie doesn't address that at all it just kind of you know assumes that like we would be like sympathetic to that. I gotta give Gina and Christina some more ether. There we go. Rhonda's gonna need some too. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, let's just give her a handful. 
It's easier just to stay here and to use my ethers than it is to try to leave and come back. So we'll do it and see if we can't get it. We'll do one more in this episode. Anyway, I've, I've, I've opined a lot about Thanos before. Um, but I, I do think that the Joker, there's so many iterations of the Joker that, um, there are lots of different opportunities to imagine him complexly, even as a character who the default, I think is a little bit one dimensional, right? Crazy guy, crime Lord. Uh, but the cartoons actually treat him with like a fair amount of complexity, the newer cartoons. Um, even even the old one from the 90s, there are a few moments where he uh, kind of has some really interesting folds to him. Um, uh, another really interesting portrayal of him is in Frank Miller's uh, Dark, Dark Knight Returns, I think is what it's called. Uh, which is a really fantastic um, graphic novel. Um, not one that I think ends up being sympathetic to the Joker, but one that offers something for the Joker to give to a story beyond Crazy Man Be Crazy, um, which I, I think is really good. And, and the way that Batman has to deal with him ultimately in Dark Knight Returns is... Oh, we got the fat chocobo music now. That's great. Wait, what's happening here? Why is... Oh, Gina Christine is not using Mega Flare. That's why this is taking forever. Oh, man. I should undo this. Um... Let's do this to myself. Oh no. Well, this isn't what I wanted. I wasn't paying, I was opining too much and I wasn't paying attention. What is happening? Oh, oh. There's so much different music now. There we go. Well, I, turns out I did that whole battle without getting a uh, Mega Flare. Um, which is totally fine. Uh, I, I needed to be paying more attention, but I was just talking about villains and things. But anyway, I'm going to keep doing this until hopefully I get a pink tail. Um, it's going to take a while and you don't want to see it on camera. And the only thing that will happen is it will just say pink tail. Um, so yeah, we'll see you next time on P Place when we'll keep uh, doing this thing. And then uh, we'll keep doing more things. <laughs> the end. Bye. We'll see ya.